Hello and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. Thank you for joining us. I believe in life sometimes we all need a little guidance. We have questions about our path, career, work, whatever it may be. Also, we've all lost loved ones that we would love to reconnect with. Make sure they're okay. Just know that they're in a better place, so to say. That's where I come in. I'm a psychic and a medium, and I have been for as long as I can remember. Today's guest is a very, very special person who is very dear to my heart. Hi, Cindy. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm excellent. Thanks so much for coming on. Oh, you're welcome. And letting me do this on air to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cindy, today you can ask any questions about anything. Um, like career-wise, relationship-wise, whatever it may be, or we can connect with loved ones who are already stepping in. <laughs> oh, let's connect with them. Okay, so first thing, um, your mom is here, and your mom is simply saying uh, the first thing she wants to say, and it's always typically the first thing loved ones on the other side say is, I love you, I love you, I love you. They want to let you know that their love has not stopped just because they're not in their physical body anymore or you can't hear them or see them. They, they're they still loving on you. They're, they're sending you that love continually. And um, your brother, they're both behind your right shoulder and your brother has his arm around her and they're like, for some reason, they're saying, look out, you're in trouble now. Uh, we're teaming up. We're going to take care of this matter. We're going to take care of this matter, this matter, this matter. We're going to, uh, they're going to be reconciling something for you. Uh, they're saying, taking care of this matter, uh, we're going to reconcile this. Are you, do you have something that is needing to be reconciled or taken care of that you know of? No. Okay, mom is saying yes, she does. <laughs> okay. So, but clearly now, she would know. Sometimes, sometimes we will think it's something big, it's something bad, but it's not always that. Sometimes it's something very easy, right? It's something light and easy. So it might be reconciling like a conversation you've had with somebody, or helping. Uh, bring bring something together. It doesn't really matter what it is. They want you to know that they're working on your behest to take care of this. They also want you to understand that you're about to purge a lot of things. Oh, good. You're about to purge a lot of, they're just using the word purge, purge, purge. And then with that, there's going to be a sort of rebirth. Okay, so right now you've been holding on to things a little bit, like stuff from the past, not only from the past, but just like collecting stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, you're about to like open the windows and go, what the heck? <laughs> and just start like donating and giving and letting go of. And as you do that, you're gonna feel lighter, you're gonna feel better, and you're going to have like a transformation happen you're going to have new understanding coming in. Okay. And then mom is saying, reconcile again. Um, mm. All the stuff that you've been holding on to represents things from the past that have not been completely uh, healed or cleared. Okay? So, and we do that. We do that. We... Uh, we, we just do things like that. Um, <clears throat> so they are saying they're going to be helping you 
distribute things to their appropriate places, okay? Now, even though it seems like one of them is doing most of the talking, both of them are there, and both of them are communicating the same message to you. And there's an Who's uncle. Who's talking, my mom? Of course, yeah. of course. And there is an uncle stepping in right now, an uncle. I don't know if I'm thinking it's an uncle. I should not take that assumption, but there's an uncle stepping in. He seemed like he might have been a little bit old. It's either an uncle or a grandpa. He was a little bit healthier, and um, he, was, he was a little heavier and older when he passed, or at least looked that way. But he's, he's walking right in and standing there also. Hmm. Um, whomever this is, he's very comfortable just walking in and standing next Can to you. Can you ask if it's fungus? If it's who? Fungus. <laughs> he did this <laughs> like one cheek up. <laughs> so yes, I'm assuming it is. But he was so comfortable, he walked right next to you and like not stepping in front of your mom, but like right there next to you. Um, and his message to you is, um, he is a st straight talking, mm -hmm. no noodles <laughs> type of guy. He is saying, um, don't wait for others to, to, uh, don't wait for others to tell you or to do you need to get up and get going and do it on your own. Don't wait for others to give you accolades. You are the accolade. Um, there's nothing else that can fill you. You're, you're it, you're the prize. You need to realize that, uh, okay. you need to realize that what has happened in the past is the past and you need to move forward in a very vigorous way you need to cut, it's like you're, he's showing me all these strings and they lead to a big parachute, but it's open so you can't make headway. He's like, cut those strings, cut those strings. And he is saying, don't get involved with mishy mashy messes. Mishy -mashy. I can't. I can't even make that up. I don't think those words. I don't think those words have ever come out of my mouth before. <laughs> Didn't know that was a statement. It's going to be now. It's going to be trending. Mishimashi mess. And he is referring to a certain family member situation. And also, um, there's going to be some boys coming in. Okay, technically they would probably like to be called men, but. <laughs> I'll just call them boys. Um, and be very discriminating of who you pick. Do not just say, ah, I've got nothing else to do. Be like, eh, no, if it's not what you're looking for. Because you can tend to just, it's not bad to see the good in people. It's great to see the good in got people. That from her. Yes, and she's nodding, but it's more important to see what's good for you. Just because there's good in a person, that doesn't mean they're good for you. <laughs> Hidden message. She's good, isn't she? Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. They also want you to know that they're going to uh, uh, be bringing in. A, a present, but I'm also hearing the word prediction, prediction, prediction. So they're bringing in a present, and this present is has monetary value, because I'm hearing the word monetary, monetary, which to me always means straight up cash or money. Um, and I'm going to ask them a few questions, like is this coming in the form of cash or a check or... I don't even know what that means, insert, right? That's what I did. What's that, an insert? So whatever this is, it's a present and it has monetary, oh, it has monetary value. Now, just because it's, I would assume it would be money, but I'm going to tell you, there are other things that come to us that are very valuable. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, watch out for it because it's coming to you. You're going to get it soon, okay? okay? Um, 
there is somebody in your life that wants to love you R romantically. You know this is not the right situation, and they're biding their time. They're biding their time? They're biding their time till it's the right time. Oh, I have a stalker. And not, not, necessarily, not necessarily a stalker. I'm going to say this person is somebody that if you said yes, they'd be all over it. And they're waiting for that time when you do say yes. Okay? When you start dating, uh, this person is might not be an adversary to say to talk about other guys too okay mm -hmm. this is obviously definitely a guy and this is somebody who has an interest in you okay so when you do start dating which is going to be very soon by the way um, does do, this person that's interested know they're interested they if they don't now they definitely will the first time you go on a date because oh, okay. something inside of them is going to go, whoa, wait. Whoa, whoa. she's dating somebody else? Okay. What? what? You know, sort of thing. And then try to be like, oh, no, she's kind of been mine this time. Like I've had her, not had her, but um, it, in any case, um, this isn't the person to get advice about these men from because he's going to shoot them all down. <laughs> Because he has a personal interest in this. Okay. <laughs> Very personal stake in this, okay? So as you move forward over the next month, you're going to have a lot of realizations and a lot of new understandings coming in. With that, there's going to be clarity like you've never seen before about people. People in your life right now, and what they need to do to get where they need to be, and how they need to do it. They're not going to listen to you. It's no one listens to me. Oh, it's so frustrating. I the kids and yeah. nieces, nephews. Yeah. Granger. But <laughs> here's the thing. Just because you can see it clearly, it doesn't mean they can. Mm -hmm. And just because you are understanding their next steps, it doesn't mean they can get that in their mind straight. So even if you tell them, it just might be a point of contention between you. It might be like a she doesn't know sort of thing going on or they're just not understanding it from the clarity that you have at that point. So you're going to need to very eloquently state things and then let it go. Okay. Because it might cause some hardships if you don't, okay? Now the next thing they want to tell you is that Oh, okay, so over the next month, this, this clarity, this ability to see things straight up as they are, and some new perspective partners coming in. There's going to be four to start off with. I know. That's too much decision making. <laughs> well, this is what I always say. When we go and look for a car, we don't just only want one model put in front of us. No. And we might think, oh, I really want this car. But then we get to the car lot and we're like, oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. Or, oh, look, this has this feature. So look at these guys as though they're cars that you're shopping. Each person that comes in is the opportunity to understand more of what you want. Now, us women, we do this thing where we get in our head about, do they like me? What do they want from me? How can I this? How can I that? And then our whole world becomes trying to like, oh, think about them. Where we have to be in this place where we're, don't worry, they're thinking about them. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> the boys are thinking about themselves. They know what they want. They know what they don't. It's us women that are trying to acclimate to them. And we have to get into that spot where we go, okay, if I'm a square, I'm not gonna try to shove that circle in it. I'm just going to find the square that fits. Either this is what I want or it's not before we get emotionally attached, mm -hmm. okay? So each one of these 
first four people are going to help you understand more about what you want, what you're looking for, and very importantly, what you're not willing to settle for anymore. As you go through this, you're going to find it gets easier. These aren't all romantic dates. Some of them might be a phone conversation. Some of them you might like just be at coffee or at a bookstore and meet somebody. Um, however, these first four come about, just know that you are going to get a lot of detailed information about what's important to you for the long run. Okay. Okay. They're asking you to um, uh, use it like a diary or a, a notebook to just jot down the observations and things that you would like. Okay. So if you see someone who has a really good relationship or seemingly has a really, write down what you think makes that good and what brings that about, okay? Um, after those four, if you do so, choose to talk to all, all four. Number five. Hmm. Number five will be very interesting. You should have learned a lot by then. You should be pretty solid in this no nonsense, no must, no fuss. This is what I want. If you're not it, you can go. And trust me, guys can sense when we're teetering, and they can tend to use that to their advantage. They can be strategic about dating. We have to do the same thing, and we have to be solid in what we want. And that's what they're saying for you to do. Be very solid in what you want how you want it, and what your no-goes are. Nope, this isn't happening, not at all. Not a little, not a lot, not at all. Um, one of these guys that you're going to be talking to has uh, like a secret or he, he's keeping something hidden. It's going to be intriguing and you're going to want to find out what it is and you're going to get caught up in that. Don't do it, stay away from that. Uh, don't get caught in the web like everybody else has. The secret is not as all grande as he would like you to think it is or that whatever you find out, you'd be like, that's it? Mm. Really? Come on now. Um, so make sure that your intentions of why you're meeting up with these guys is on point with relationship. And I always say that you have to look at, at, especially in the beginning, you have to look at a relationship, a, a tentative relationship as a business. Would I do business with this person? Would I trust this person with my money? Would I trust this person with my home? Would I trust this person with other aspects of myself? Um, and when you look at it as a business pers person, like a business partnership, you're saying, does this person have good integrity, ethics? Are they financially responsible, morals? Because when you're going into business with somebody, you are looking at all of these things. What do they bring to the table in this business relationship? Once you do that, you're going to understand much better what you want and how you want it and you're going to be able to move forward. When we look at a relationship as, oh, it's all unicorns and butterflies, and oh, I have this great energetic feeling, <laughs> then that's where we get messed up because those people don't always make great business partners. Mm -hmm. But if you find a, somebody who makes a great business partner, they'll be a great life partner. They just want to say that and make sure that you understand that clearly. Now, before I keep talking, because <laughs> you haven't said two words <laughs> so who far, else is, here? Um, is there a question that you have? Is who there some? Is well, who else do you? Because there, if I zoom in on them, there will be a lot of them, and I won't get them all. I was wondering if my grandmother and my aunt were here. Okay, they're stepping in right here now, and yes, one of them had white hair. And then the, and I feel like she was, if I'm getting this correctly, she's being held by the arm by the other one that I cannot see. I can just see the top of the brown hair. Um, so that's who I'm seeing right now. 
So they're walking in and they're coming by Mishmash guy, um, Meshi Mashi, whatever he said before. <laughs> they're stepping in and, um, oh, your grandma is just sweetness. Your grandma is just saying, um, she is just, oh, sweetie, you are so beautiful. You are so wonderful. You need to smile more. You don't she smile enough. <laughs> she used to always say that. <laughs> Did she? Yeah. Okay, so that's your confirmation that this is her, okay? And she is saying it again. She's like, just smile. It's just like, don't let everybody know the truth anyway. Just smile. You need to smile much, much more. She's saying, um, it's only as downtrodden as you believe it is. So you, that's, that's her. Um, and she is letting you know that, again, they're saying there's going to be this gift coming in. Um, it's going to surprise you. And you are going to be very happy with it. It is a very good... Um, a very good gift. Now, for some reason, and I, I know this is your, your reading, but your niece keeps popping in. I keep seeing your niece on this side. Oh, who's talking to her? I, I'm, I'm thinking that they must have a message for her okay. because she, she keeps popping into my vision. So if I just ask, like, why, why are you guys bringing her in? Um, and now I'm going to ask them just, they're telling me something, and I'm going to ask them to state it in a different way. Okay. Um, they're saying she needs space and time. Okay. She has a lot going on, and although you want to be there to really support her, sometimes space and time is the best thing because you don't want to be, I don't know if this is the right way to say it, so please don't mm -hmm. under, misunderstand. The way I'm going to say it sounds like one thing, but I don't think this is the way they mean it. You don't want to be the, the fall guy for whatever tragedies might come up. Um, she has some things that she's about to learn, some lessons that she's about to learn. She needs to learn them, and if you're the trapeze uh, uh, thing underneath the trapeze, mm -hmm. she will not learn these lessons. So it's really important that you let her stand on her own two feet. Oh, that was a beautiful way of putting it. Thank you. <laughs> let her stand on her own two feet and allow her to find her way because her way isn't even close to your way, okay? And we don't want any, any misunderstandings there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're very kind and loving and filled with light and wood. Uh, put yourself aside to facilitate uh, somebody else, and they don't want that, not at this point. Plus, you're going to have a guy coming in. So they want you to be all about that now, okay? You've spent your life trying to facilitate for other people. Let's, let's move into this space. Now, we have about four minutes left, so I want to ask you, did you have any questions about work or life? I know I've, uh, I've really taken off with this. I know. Um... Well, I guess we can ask about the license. Yes. I know that you have been procrastinating, <laughs> but now you have been given the perfect position that you have the time mm -hmm. to do this. So still do it. St absolutely. Okay. If for no other reason than to know that there's something else out there. Okay. You are going to be magnificent once you really get into it and I see I just keep hearing the words rehab rehab rehabs so I know you know what that means <laughs> and I know that that's a passion of yours and I actually um, after this we are going to have a conversation about something you and I um, but rehab 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 and you are going to be splendid at making that, that the right choices. I don't even know how else to say that. 
you're going to be amazing at making the right choices. So as soon as you're personally ready, get on it. Don't worry about changing markets. Don't worry about all the other things. Just do it. This is something, you know, when we come in, we have a checklist of things that we can do if we do so choose. This is one of those things you can check off your list and do that you would be quite magnificent at. Okay. And I just want you to know, it doesn't mean you have to go full on in it. Mm -hmm. There are a number of ways for you, per not everybody can, this isn't true for everybody, but there are a number of ways that you personally can do this that will be amazing for you. Okay? Okay. So just know that. And they're, they're going to be very excited to guide you and help you along the way on that journey um, because no matter what, it's always about learning and growing and in different areas also. And you're going to find good partnerships when you do this. Hmm. Very, very solid, good partnerships that are going to help you be very strong in that industry. OK? Excellent. So um, we, we only have a bit of they time. They do. Okay. They do. So I'm going to give you their, their like saying, we love you, we love you, we love you. No, we're with you. We're guiding you. We're showing you things. We're going to come into your dreams tonight and tomorrow night especially, tomorrow night especially. We will bombard you with messages. You will not remember them all. Don't worry. Have paper next to your bed in case you wake up and you want to jot, jot, jot things down. And if you wake up in the middle of the night, make sure to write down whatever it is that woke you up. Okay? And we love you so much and 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 just know that with everything. Okay? Good. Thank thank you, Cindy, so much for being oh, here. You're thank you. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Psychic Medium, Tony G. As you can see, when loved ones come in, the messages are always to guide you and help you. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day, and we'll see you on the next episode. Mike, sit down. You can keep talking now. Just stay seated, please.